Let's get started with the simulation of WWE Hell in a Cell 2015. And we are going to start with the kickoff, which, just like last month, was a six-man tag. Let's see. It is the team of... Let's see if we can find him here. Da, 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 Dolph Ziggler. Cesaro and the man that gravity forgot the new sensation Neville taking on Rusev Mr. Money in the Bank Sheamus and of course Bad News Barrett. Six man tag team action. Let me make sure I'm in the right arena. That would also help. Uh, heck in a sec. There we go. Let's start it. Let's do it. Hey, chat, who you got? Who you got in the kickoff match? Just ignore that graphic, I promise we're in Los Angeles. Hey, real Stevie G, welcome to the stream, how you doing? You can see you're hyped for this. I'm hyped for this, everybody's hyped for this. There's actually a pretty good six man between these three on uh, Raw recently. So, I think it should be good on the old pay-per-view. And then that man says Team Ziggler. Dapatail says could be anyone's game. Doing awesome? Uh, it's good to hear that. You sound damn hype. Any other predictions for this match? Anyway, Dolph Ziggler is in the ring and he is here to show the world. What he's going to show, I'm not entirely sure, but hopefully it's not anything that's going to get us kicked off the air. And here comes Cesaro. Real Stevie G says Team Ziggler. Oh shit, I forgot. Fucking, uh, I still have the WCW World Tag Titles from when I did the Daniel and So Many Words Tag Team Extravaganza. I gave he and... I gave him and Tyson Kidd a pair of defunct belts as their prize for winning. <laughs> Tyler Breeze Hobbs? Yeah, Tyler Breeze is going to win this match despite not even being in it. He's that good. Hey, Issues365, welcome to the stream. How you doing? Cesaro, a man who is so good in the ring, he doesn't have time to grab the brass ring. I'm so fucking mad right now. What are you mad about, uh, Captain Ginger Ale? Here comes Adrian Neville. Daniel, can you say ribbit? No, it's it's against my religion to say ribbit. <laughs> Wonder why WWE dropped uh, Antonio from Antonio Cesaro and just. What does Cesaro? Uh, they do that with a lot of guys. For some reason. I, I guess uh, single names might be more marketable for some guys. Like they did with Cesaro. Uh, Rusev used to be Alexander Rusev. Uh, Neville used to be Adrian Neville. I, I guess they just feel like uh, for certain guys, one name monikers might be more marketable, I suppose. I don't know. Anyway, Adrian Neville, here in the ring, a man of almosts, almost won the world title from Seth Rollins, almost won the King of the Ring, almost won Money in the Bank. I'm waiting to see if he can, like, get past that almost and actually win something huge. In the meantime, here comes Rusev. 
Sans Lana. This is accurate. Actually, with absolutely no woman because he got engaged to Lana in real life, thus basically ruining the storyline between him and Summer Rae. And so Summer dumped him, and now he is a man without a valet. Are you a member of the C Nation? Me? Uh. I only consider myself a huge John Cena fan, but I do appreciate his work. I'm not, I'm not like one of those that uh, goes, LOL, five moves of doom, LOL, Cena buries everybody, LOL, Cena can't wrestle, because truthfully, he's been busting out some fucking awesome matches ever since he won the US title the first time from uh, Rusev at Mania 31. Like, the open challenge has not only been a really great thing for some of the people who have been taken up, but it's been a really great thing for Cena as well. I threw an Oreo at the wall? Why'd you throw an Oreo at the wall? Seems like a waste of an Oreo, I'm just saying. Here comes Fella, the holder of the Money in the Bank briefcase. You never know, he could cash that in tonight. I wish more people would see Cena like you do. Yeah, but... I mean, people are going to have their opinions, and that's fine, but I just wish that... I just wish they wouldn't be using the same criticisms of John Cena that could be applied to, like, I don't know, 2006, maybe 2007 John Cena. Oh, he only uses five moves, except he doesn't now. Oh, he never fucking sells anything. Uh, I mean, that one still maybe is kind of valid, because he still does the Superman-ish comeback, but... He does sell, like, a lot better than he did back then. He's not... He's not steamrolling over everybody now. God save the queen. And their God and save my accent. I'm afraid I've got some bad news. Fucking love bad news, Barry. I, I hate... King Barrett just because one it, it takes me away from bad news Barrett and two just because the fucking King of the Ring title has only been an albatross to him you know what I mean I, his win loss record has not been superb and I realize that not every win or loss matters but like the dude has not won a whole lot of matches and it's really really annoying because I love Barrett, he's he's just great, really charismatic. He's trying so hard to make the fucking King thing work. But, I don't know. Oh, fuck off, Rusev. No. Ow. Best drop kick in the business. A vicious elbow drop, delivered with a lot of force. Oh, ah, fuck off, Rusev. Get off my shoulder, man. Oh, when Dom Ziggler appears, WWE fans pay attention. They know they're gonna see one of the most talented superstars to ever lace up a pair Not sure why Bear dropped off the apron when I went to stomp Rusev. From bell to bell. Yeah! Oh, man. How Elbow dropped to a standing opponent. Dean Ambrose taught me that one. The sacrifice you must be willing to take to compete in the big leagues. Oh shit. Is it bad that I'm trying to wake up my nephew so I can, uh, so I can go to my friends? Uh, maybe. It depends. Has your nephew, like, has your nephew been getting a lot of sleep lately? Is he sleep deprived? Because that would probably be bad. Also, I'm assuming you have no other way to get there. I don't know. And refer to yourself as the show off if you don't think you're one of the best in the business. Ow. Dolph Ziggler is one of the best performers in the business, and everyone. The oh, God. Here comes Sheamus. I gotta take out. Neville, handle it. Drop kick to me. The ultimate offensive strike. Drop kick to me. Is in bad shape this match now. is over. Once Shea I start working the knees, it's over. I wish we would let Cena turn heel. That is probably never going to happen at this point, issues. 
I mean, the dude is like solidified as uh, ultimate good guy, ultimate fucking baby face who stands up for the kids and the young members of the WWE universe. He's he's the Make a Wish guy. I think he's legit granted more wishes than anybody at this point. I don't know how well he will turn or go over. I mean, obviously the Smarks would be like, yeah, Cena's finally turning heel, and then they probably find a way to shit over it a week later. I think it was viewed somewhat as an upset only because of how dominating a champion Cena had been. But Drop kick to knee more deadly than sweep the leg? Uh, I don't know. I think they're about the same. Shit. Fuck, get up, Neville. Don't get hit by the bad news. No. Hey, Dean Ambrose fan 23. Welcome to the stream. How you doing? Boop. Zara clearly wants in this match. Wish granted. Handle it. Yeah. And the six and a half footer goes down. Cesaro knows exactly what he's doing right now. Ouch! And here we go. Oh shit! Billy to belly, it's over. From Manchester. Oh wow! Playing my games. Yeah, a little intimidation there. Right, here we go. Pursuing Northern Lights Suplex. Oh, missed the timing. I was going to try and get a pin off that. Oh, well. Ooh, nice. He's going to the top rope. Whoa! Oh, wow. Uh, Ken Ginger, you can always put that in the Google Translate and see what you get off that. Tremendous action in this match. It might not be 100% accurate, but it might get close to what that's supposed to be, because I don't know what that is. <laughs> Scoop slam. Shit. Completely missed that headbutt. That was terrible. And shit, I got a sink. Ah! Reverse the whip. No! Would you like to live in the Pokemon world or be a WWE champ? Pokemon world, definitely. I mean, I loves me some wrestling, but you know what? In the end, Pokemon is my number one fandom. I, I, I gotta go with Pokemon. Oh no! Oh! And he's heading back inside the ring. I know what it is. I came up with it. Well, what the, what the hell does it mean? Sheamus turns it around. <laughs> For a big guy, Sheamus sure is sneaky. No. Shit. No, damn it, Rusev. Guillotine leg drop. God damn it. Neville, what are you doing? Fuck you, Rusev. Oh, fuck. Let's get him up. Neutralizer. Barrett knocked off the apron. Rusev starting to stir. Cesaro going for the pin, shoots the half, hooks the leg. Ah, oh, damn it. Rusev's gonna break it up. Yep. God damn it. Fucking slow ass referee. That was a heavy shot. Neveling off the tag. And he finally gets out of the ring. The fuck over here, Sheamus. The strategy for a superstar that's going up against Sheamus. Drop kick to knee. Not getting hit with his power move. I mean, the Celtic Warrior has so many that can just knock you right into the middle of next week. But I think the most brutal... And Sheamus is just getting the shit beat out of him right now. No! Ah, damn it. He might have to do this by himself. His partner doesn't have much left. The fuck out of here. Reversal. Adrian Neville showing his prowess. 
Well, I'm going to make pizza rolls, but only Daniel and some of words can have some? Oh, come on, you can share the chat. Whoa, whoa, what the fuck? Oh, wait, no, ref, don't, damn it! I tried to drop kick the ref in the knee in order to stop him from counting Jameis out. Oh, fuck. Well, I guess how that, I guess that's how that match is gonna fucking end. With a DQ because Sheamus couldn't get back to his fucking corner because Rusev is in the turnbuckle. Okay. Well, there's the kickoff. Alright. Um, time for the actual show now. Let us start with the rematch. Make sure that uh, everybody's got their belts. Actually, something I probably should have done before the stream. Okay. Nope, that's that's not right. And the world is Seth. United States is Mr. John Cena. Your kind of Kevin Owens, that's right. Uh Tag should still be the new day. Yep. Let's see, Divas should be Charlotte. Yep. Uh, yeah, that's it. Okay, cool. Alright, that being said... Whoops, nope. Title match. Time to do the rematch for the Intercontinental title as Kevin Owens defends once again. Or faces right back once again. This, not, uh, this time defending the belt that he won last month at Night of Champions. Of course, I'm going to be Kevin Owens like the filthy smart that I am. <laughs> yeah, it's got to be, it's got to be Ryback uh, 13 because he's the one who does the, the actual feed me more entrance. Is YouTube your main job or do you work at another place? I work at a cafe in real life because YouTube does not pay me nearly enough in order for it to be my job. Hell in a cell. Here we go. Right, who's everybody got? Who you got in this match? Who's walking away with the Intercontinental title? MJ Deadman says the Ryback. Here comes Kevin Owens out, uh, out to his generic theme as we are apparently in Atlanta, Georgia now. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. And who are we got in here right now? We got myself, MJ Deadman, Sniffer King, uh, Awesome Froki, Captain Ginger Ale, Issues 365, and Real Stevie G. That's a complete viewer list. Yeah. Intercontinental Champion, Kevin Owens. Pop-up power, uh, pop powerbomb hype? Yeah, damn right, Sniffer King. Kevin Ginger, they can't both be the Intercontinental Champion. That's, that's not how wrestling works. Oh, hang on. They really don't both win. Sorry, dude, they just don't. It did with Laycool. Uh, they weren't, I don't think they were actually re both recognized as, they were self proclaimed co women's champions, for one thing, and also they weren't opponents. When that happened, I think what it was is it was a handicap match against uh, both members of Lay Cool, and Layla was the one that pinned Beth Phoenix, but of course, Michelle McCool was the former champion, so she was like, fuck it, I'm champion too, also. Oh, alright, cool. 
The, uh, you're the real Lang on Twitter. Okay, cool. Nice. Good to see you make it out for a stream. And from Las Vegas, weighing 291 pounds, Anyway, back. here comes the Ryback. The big guy. He's not going to get that Intercontinental title back. Kevin Owens, of course, winning it last month by raking the eyes of Ryback and then rolling him up. Like the prick of a heel that he is. Intercontinental title on the line. Feel that hype. Captain Ginger Ale is already booing Kevin Owens. Such heel heat this man has. Hey, Zombieland 1908. Welcome to the stream. How you doing? I'm right back countering my fucking clothesline attempt with a grapple. The ultimate clothesline counter. Chain wrestling. Fuck you. Elbows to the back all day. Oh fuck. Hey, if you work the back lot, Ryback's not gonna be able to do his big power moves. Fuck. Oh shit. This ran over me. That is not good. Get up, Owens, you fuck. A potch the trip attempt the first time. Full over DDT, the second greatest move in wrestling. And he gets back in the ring. Oh, is Ryback going to be able to get in the ring, or is Kevin Owens going to retain by count out? Just before the count of 10. Oh, man. Hey, Brandon Game, welcome to the stream. How you doing? Moonsault by Kevin Owens. Jesus. You must be willing to take to compete in the big leagues in the WWE is unreal. Oh shit. Dead left power bomb. Kevin Owens just fucking beating the shit out of right back right now. Also, I have a finisher. I didn't even notice that. I'm not paying attention to my momentum. All right. Shit. Oh fuck! Right back with the right back with this fucking Steiner recliner. This is not the position you want to be in. Oh, but that one escapes. Kevin Owens is not going to fucking give up to that shit. Hey, Abby's here. Everyone say hi to Abby. She's not been in the stream for like fucking ever. Great reversal. Oh, and the knee connects. Did that knee connect? Right back with women with a 450 <laughs> splash. Oh, I fucking wish. Oh, shit. No, he's going for his comeback. Fuck that. I am not getting hit with that comeback. OMG, I can finally say hello to Dan. Yes, you can. Uh, technically, it's Daniel. So. In a boot to the gut. Oh, right into that ring post. Oh, back to the head. Back to the temple. He's got it. Shit. And right back reverses it. Oh, out of nowhere. Look out! Oh shit, Kevin Owens going for the pump handle neck breaker. Oh god. Again on the outside. Kevin Owens just content to take a victory however he can. Oh, but right back is stirring again. Is he gonna get in? 
He's not, but luckily for him, I want an actual finish. He almost took his head off with that Larian. Fuck. Bailey to belly, it's over. Why is everyone stealing Bailey's finish? And this is Fuck. Return to the ring. Now back to the ring. And he gets out of the way. No. Sorry, first time on here, but I've watched you on YouTube. Yeah, I'm just saying. Uh I'm just saying, I don't just go like Dan, Danny, or Daniel, it's just Daniel. This is my preference. Oh shit. Oh. Power bomb! The closest I get to the pop up power bomb because the fucking pop up power bomb is only a counter in this game. And only if you do like a Hurricane Rana or something. Oh, Owens is a dun. Owens is a done man. Oh shit. Oh no, oh no. Package file driver, holy shit. Owens into the cover. But the fucking ropes were there. God damn it. Ryback, you piece of shit, you ruined the finish. Just for that, I'm beating you with a scoop slam. Oh, are you kidding me? Right back, stop being so fucking difficult. Michinoku! Oh, I thought that was gonna be the Michinoku driver. Just a scoop slam. Never mind. There's another great kick. And did you hear the impact on that kick? Hey, he's going for it. Here we go. Pump handle neck breaker again. Whoa, what the fuck? what the fuck happened to Ryback there? Uh just glitched into position. <laughs> Kevin, I'm drag right back to the center. God damn it. I am having some fucking issues today. I don't know why. Damn! He's gonna go for the package pile driver again. Oh, he might be going for shell shocked. There we go, send it up again. Package pile driver! Kevin Owens into the cover, this time away from the ropes. And Kevin Owens retains. Oh, Lord. Getting that second package pal driver was a fucking ordeal, though. Right back almost got me into the fucking uh, shell shock for a second there. Whole lot near count out uh, situations, too. I wouldn't be surprised if Kevin Owens tried that in the actual event this Sunday. Anyway, there's the pinfall. Two. Done. Kevin Owens, still your Intercontinental Champion of the World. As the bell clips through part of his stomach, but it's cool. It's totally fine, you guys. All right. Let's make sure of one thing here. Okay. <laughs> Back, sorry, I uh, need to store for my, I need to go to the store for my mom, uh, or for your mom, okay, cool. Retain, no one's retained, that's right. All right, it is now time for the first of two Hell in a Cell matches. As we are going to see Bray Wyatt take on Roman Reigns.
Kevin Owens is God Lord? You are not entirely wrong. <laughs> Alright, MJ Deadman's got Reigns. Who's everybody got? Reigns or Wyatt? We're back in Miami. The following contest is a Your Stevie G says Reigns. Making his way to the ring from Pensacola, Florida, weighing 265 pounds. Roman Wyatt by shenanigans. It seems likely. Roman Reigns has been feuding with Bray Wyatt for what seems like forever, but it's actually been since about June. Since Bray Wyatt cost him the Money in the Bank uh, contract ladder match. So, what would that be? Four months now? Yeah. Four months seems like forever in uh, today's wrestling world as far as feuds going on for that long. I don't know why. Abby, I know you're just saying that because you just despise Bray Wyatt. <laughs> Here comes Bray Wyatt. Man with a very special talent to wear a fedora and a Tommy Bahama shirt and still look intimidating. That is only partially true? I think that's entirely true, Abby. Well, okay. Yeah, I guess you actually do like Roman Reigns. Um, but I know you, like, hate Bray Wyatt, though. Hey, Funky Blue Monkey. Uh, what's happened is I made you a mod on the recommendation of some of the other viewers because you've been pretty cool. So now you have the magical mod sword. Uh, yeah, they uh, did the they did the angle with Orton to explain his uh, most recent injury, why it's got to him, and therefore the match with uh, him and Ambrose versus Strowman and Harper was canceled. So yeah, they are off the card, as far as I know. Hey Travis Lake, uh, hey Daniel, how are you today? I'm pretty good. How about you? He's a mess. I can't deal. He looks like my brother, but worse. Your brother looks like Bray Wyatt. John Cena will win this match. John Cena will win this match simply by being in the company. Collar and elbow battling for control. Yeah, that's right. Two guys who absolutely despise each other and have fought to the death on numerous occasions, but we gotta start the match with wrestling holds. Because that's how it works. Anyone but you, Roman. Yeah. Roman Reigns gets rocked. He's putting those educated feet to good I'm doing great, thanks. Who are you playing as? I'm playing as Bray Wyatt. Aggressive shot to the midsection. Because Bray needs to win in this match more than Roman does. No, it must be. Bray needs to actually win a feud for once. God damn it. It could take away some of that awesome power that Reigns uses to annihilate opponents from pillar to post. The fuck off me. Bailey to Bailey, it's over. Everyone is stealing Bailey's finisher. What the fuck? Nice, well -placed kick to the rim. That's fucking gimmick infringement if I ever saw it. We're seeing Orton are out of the company for a while. That's pretty crazy. Uh... Yep, Cena apparently isn't booked for anything past Hell in a Cell, so 
it's pretty likely he might, he might lose the U.S. title this Sunday. So who is the question? But I believe you're going to find out a little bit later in the simulation. Trying to take away one of the body parts he draws his strength from, like an arm or leg, is really the only chance an opponent would have. Hey now! This is one of the only times I will say this, but I hope you lose. You're not, you're really not a Wyatt fan, are you? I'm guessing not. Bray Wyatt is going in for the kill. That's it. He's done. All right, here we go. Time for high spots. Oh shit. And that could bust you open. Nope. Oh shit. Broken out of the cell. Break the walls down. Chris Jericho return confirmed. Hey, one more time just in case you missed it. Oh my god. I rake. I rake. Ray Wyatt reverses it. I rake. I rake. Damn. I'm like out of stamina. Ah, oh, fuck. No. Ah, sorry. I didn't have to chop a ghost. I rake. Okay, I need to get away from you. I'm trying to chop my butt. Hey, Dan, how are you anyway? Uh, pretty good. It's Daniel, by the way. Did you play WWF SmackDown as a kid? Uh, I just think I remember having SmackDown 2 for the PS1, I think it was. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Oh, damn it. Are you serious? <laughs> so I instantly create a hole in the roof of the fucking Uranage signature, and I fall through my own hole. That's incredible. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> no, 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 no. We are not done with the high spots yet, Roman. That should buy me enough time to get back up on the roof. Oh, his body has to be broken right now. Hey, Ghost Hunter 1416. What difficulty are you playing on? I, I think it might be on... I don't remember. I think I might have put it on either Hard or Legend. I don't remember, though. Just think about this, Michael. There's oh, shit. The Wide setting it up. Well, hey, Kane, 5679, Sister Abigail. Look at this. Doing some good work here. And Roman falls through the roof. That's the finish. I faced through the rope for the second, but it's fine. Oh, how the fuck did he kick out of that? I hit you with my finisher, and then you fell through the roof. How did you kick out? Piece of shit. Oh, no, I'm really going to kill you now. Now it's on. Something tells me this won't be good. Baseball bat, sing return confirmed. Because it's range, you have to make him look strong? I know, right? We want you to go over. You gotta make Reigns look really, really strong. I know, right? See the 2007 booking. Oh shit. You're a Nage. Shit. Setting up again. Sister Abigail. 
Now, I want to see if I can hit that Yurinage on the steps. And if that will actually connect the way I want it to. I don't know how well the physics uh, how well the physics are gonna work in my favor though, but we'll see. Why are you not playing as Roman? Because I feel like Bray Wyatt needs the win more, personally. Plus, I like Bray Wyatt. It's not that I don't like Reigns. I like Reigns, but I just like Bray Wyatt more. Right, here we go. Oh yeah, I guarantee you, since uh, the tag match with uh, Dean Orton, Strowman, and Harper is canceled now, I guarantee you they're going to get involved in the Roman Reigns, Bray Wyatt, Hell in the Cell. I guarantee you that they will. Come on, get up, Bray. Shit. Fucking shoulder hit the steps. Okay, here we go. No, damn it. Roman, you know what the spot is. Okay, counter the spear. Good. Fuck. Oh, damn it. Now he's got a signature. Fuck your Superman punch. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I don't think I was going to hit. Oh, well. Got three fucking uh, finishers. Jesus. All right. No. Setting up yet again. Let's look at that replay. Used to be a huge WWE fan, but stop following. Uh, hang on. I gotta look at it in this thing. Uh, stop following after the last HBK match against The Undertaker, which I was there live. Nice. I'm just fucking wrecking Roman shit all over the place right now. Oh god! I say that as I miss the crossbody. Just by a mile. And that thing can cause a whole oh no. Damage. Oh no. Oh no. Fuck you. No stairs for you, Roman. Anything but stairs, Roman. Anything but stairs. Sister Abigail. That's it. That has gotta be it. I swear to God, if he kicks out after this. Okay, good. Fuck me. Oh, man. Only thing I've ever seen live is the Royal Rumble 2004 when you know who? Uh, you mean Stevie Richards? Because I think it means Stevie Richards. I am not skipping these Sister Abigails, by the way. That's just how short the highlights were. <laughs> Tap Potato is giving Wyatt the heel heat. Gotta love it. Here is your winner, Bray Wyatt. What an incredible match. That one could have gone either way. Nobody has anything to be ashamed of in this one. Daniel, how long does it take to, uh, for T Public to deliver? The UK, it's at 7 to 14 days. Um, not sure. I think they... I'm not... I'm actually not sure about that. Um, hopefully it should be there soon. If it's... I think it's because it's... Yeah, it's been like a week since you are that sure, right? Why do you say Bray so seductively? What the fuck? Uh, he was really hype about Bray Wyatt winning. Okay. Now it is time for the Divas match. If I can find the bell here. Here we go. Two weeks ago I ordered it. When did uh, you... Well, when you did the final of my career? Okay. Yeah, I'm thinking it should be there soon. Uh, give it a couple more business days and then maybe... 
Uh, if it's not here, if it's not there by the end of uh, next week, then maybe you should like email T Public about it. Because then at that point, it'd be taking way too long. Anyway, let's go with the red. Time for the Divas title as Charlotte defends her newly won belt against the former champion Nikki Bella. They need to bring back Braun Panties matches? No, they do not. It's. That is, like, legitimately the last thing they need to bring back, ever. That had its time in the sun, and it's done now, and let's just leave it there. Now, who you got in this match, chat? Tipsy Vagrant says uh, Charlotte Flair is going to retain. And I swear that's Charlotte Flair, not just a Summer Rae CAW. I swear. <laughs> I say Nikki, Charlotte, I'm guessing MJ Deadman, your woo is indicative that you think Charlotte is going to win. From Charlotte, North Carolina, she is the Divas Champion, Charlotte. This is the title shot our challenger was waiting for. How's everyone today? Uh, pretty good. Yeah, Tipsy Vagrant, I think the only, the closest thing to that, uh, the men having any sort of a match like that would be, uh, uh, like, um, like he just mentioned, uh, Pat Patterson and Gerald Briscoe in the evening gown match. Ugh, yeah. And her opponent, from Scottsdale, Arizona. Anyway, here comes Nikki Bella. Bella, and this challenger feels they can beat the champ. I'm not sure I agree, but anything can happen in a WWE ring. Nikki Bella, the former longest reigning Divas champion ever at 301 days. Getting a Rubik's Cube with WWE people on it, who do you think uh, I should put on the last side? I can have, uh, I have Cena, Barrett, Undertaker, uh, Triple H, and Goldust. Uh, I'm gonna say either Oh, you know what? You only should put on there? Sasha Banks. You need a boss on that Rubik's Cube. Diva's title on the line. I love the Bells as people, but in wrestling, uh, I just hate them. How is this? Well, I think, I think uh, you're able to separate the people from the characters, and you hate the characters, which is good because they're heels. So... Right, sports fan says uh, AJ Lee is better than Nikki to each their own. Total Divas is strangely addictive. I haven't watched a lot of it, honestly. Nikki Bella means hey, LOL Slag 626. Uh -oh. Welcome to the stream. I've seen her reality show, and I know what she's capable of. Oh, fuck. Why don't they put the four horsewomen? I don't know why they didn't do that. I really don't know. It is so ridiculous. I don't get it. Like, the largest roster ever, and we can't fucking put the four horsewomen in there. Like, seriously. Hey, YT the Future, welcome to the stream. How you doing? No, but explain to me why Charlotte Flair's character is so lazily animated. Do people hate her that much? No. What matches have I missed? You missed the six-man between uh, 
Ziggler, Cesaro, Neville, and Rusev Barrett, and uh, fucking Sheamus. You missed the Intercontinental Title rematch, and you missed the first Town of Cell between Reigns and Wyatt. Other than that, you have not missed anything else. So. We've discussed it many times, Michael. Nikki Bella is way more than just. Can't wait for WWE 2K16. Neither can I, honestly. I I've said this before, but. If 2K16 is even half as good as it is being built up to be, then 2K15 is just going to look like the beta for 2K16. It's just going to make me that much more mad that I paid full price for this shit. Mikey Ripwreck is in 2K16, yeah, for like the, uh, the grand total of two matches that Austin had in ECW before he got to um, WWF. Is Charlotte a CAW? Yeah, because Charlotte's obviously not in uh, 2K15. So, yeah, it's a. And, and unfortunately, you couldn't even create a full fledged Charlotte CAW with the Divas this year. Fucking, you had to. You had to do a pre existing Diva model and then just edit their outfit. So, the best that some of your community creations could do is take Summer Rae and put Charlotte's outfit on her. So, it's the closest we got, unfortunately. And even though the four horsewomen aren't going to be in 2K16, which again is ridiculous, we actually have the full Creative Diva mode back, so people can actually create substantial CAWs this time. Which will be infinitely better. No. I do not remember what the fucking signatures for this uh, Charlotte CAW are. Oh, yeah, here we go. Figure four. Uh -oh, the figure four. Ziggy gonna tap. Probably not because I've done very little damage to her legs. Ah, oh, damn it. Nope. Shit. Nope. Oh, fuck. Arm trap, scoop slam. Nikki with all of the ring psychology, working the limb. All we need now in 2K60 is custom entrance seams and it's perfect? Yeah. That is what we need. Alright, I gotta start working the leg here. Is there any way to make Dean's music in 2K15? Like, put it in as a custom theme? No, custom themes are not in this game. Sadly. And I'm really working this fucking leg. Oh shit. Get back down, Nikki. Here we go. Oh, never mind. Get in position. Thank you. Natural selection! It's gotta be it. One, two, and Charlotte retains. Great stream, thank you. We appreciate that. And here's some highlights from the matchup. The only highlight of the matchup is Charlotte hitting natural selection. I have no idea where they took it out. Uh we needed a whole lot of room for fucking um you know, all four versions of Randy Orton and all three Alberto Del Rios. We totally needed all of them. Here is your winner. <laughs> anyway, Charlotte retains the Divas title. Hooray. Dude, I still want Sasha Banks versus uh, Charlotte next month. I want that to be the next feud. Seriously. Will you stream WWE 2K16? Yeah, when I get it. Uh, unfortunately, like I said earlier, it's probably not going to be sometime until next month. Because I don't have the money to get it now, even though I know it comes out, like, next week. Um, and I'm not going to have the money put aside for it until uh, sometime in November. So, uh, when I do get it, though, I will stream it. 
I just want AJ Styles WWE and then my life is complete. Oh, that'd be fucking hype. Let's see. I believe it is now time for the tag titles. And we're going to do this as a little, uh, you, know, you know what, I was going to do it as an elimination tag, but that would have taken even longer. And you know I got to play as a new day. You know I got to. So who do, you think will ch uh, who do you think will challenge Cena at Hell in a Cell? I'm hoping it's Tyler Breeze. I'm really hoping it's Tyler Breeze. If Cena's going to drop the belt and take some time off, he's got to fucking, he's, he's got to drop it to a new guy. Seriously. I really hope it's Tyler Breeze, especially since he's been in NXT for what seems like forever and he never got his run with the NXT title. I hate Tyler Breeze. Why do you hate Tyler Breeze? Samoa Joe, maybe? Oh, that's another possibility. Of course, I'm assuming he's going to be in a, a short feud with Tyler Breeze in NXT and then maybe challenging for the NXT title, but I guess he could do both. I mean, Kevin Owens was still working in NXT when he was feuding with Cena, so... I want Finn Balor in the main roster, so do a lot of people. Right, come on, everybody. Get ready to clap. We are two time champs. New Day Rocks. 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 New Day Rocks, 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 New. All right. Unfortunately, I have to skip uh, the Dudley Boys entrances because I I keep forgetting to put them as a fucking stable and give them a team entrance. I'm so sorry. I'm so unprofesh. Centrus needs more trombones? Exactly. Who's your favorite wrestler? Uh, I would say Dale Bryan or Dolph Ziggler, but honestly, recently, it's fucking Sasha Banks. Sasha Banks is just fucking so good at everything. So. Here we go. The Copper Penny tag titles are on the line. I think I could have put Xavier Woods as the manager, but I didn't because uh, I think them putting Xavier through the table on Monday was a way to write him out of the match. So uh, they couldn't get he couldn't get the New Day DQ'd. My head says a piece of shit. It sounds like you're saying New Pet Rock. <laughs> Who knows, maybe the New Day has a pet rock. I don't know. Are caps allowed in the chat? Um, just don't spam caps. And it should be fine. Like, like keep it to a minimum. But just don't start spamming the chat with caps messages all the time. Oh fuck, low bridge. Shit. Oh fuck! John Cena shoulder tackle. That's not where Kobe wants to be right now. He drops the elbow. Fucking, I'm getting double teamed by fucking uh, the Dudley Boys. I thought I was the heel here. And he's forced back in the ring. And there's the elbow. And we're going back between the ropes. 
Do you think uh, Dudley's and Braun Strowman will be DLC in 2K16? Uh, probably. I imagine the Dudley's will. Fuck, he got low bridged again. Stop low bridging me. <laughs> nice SpongeBob reference there, Abby. GG. Shit. Kingston getting completely dominated here, people. Oh, that elbow's gotta hurt. His partner's being punished and he's seen. Hardy's return? I doubt that. They're both in TNA. In fact, I think Matt Hardy is like legit the world champion there right now. I'm pretty sure he's the world champion. Uh, he just won it from uh, Ethan Carter the third, who is the former Derek Bateman, who has Jeff Hardy in like some sort of servitude storyline or some bullshit. I don't know. Yeah, what is Spike Dudley up to these days? I can't, I can't imagine he's doing much. If they want to neutralize Xavier Woods, why don't they bring back Spike Dudley? I can't imagine he's doing very much these days. It got vacated. It got vacated after he won it. Why? Teenager doing some dumb tournament again. Why? And he does it one more time. I just, I don't know, man. There's a Fuck. Counter by the one. Oh shit. Big E just fucking manhandling Devon like he was a small child. Matt and Jeff have actually announced that they are showing interest in returning. Really? Well, if they're going to do it, they better do it now. And he gets out of the way. You're one of my favorite streamers? Thank you. Really appreciate that. Daniel, have you not yet learned to never question why TNA does dumb things they just do? Yeah, see Claire Lynch, see uh, fucking pushing Jeff Hardy as a babyface after he uh, got fucking all whacked down on drugs live on pay-per-view. See TNA letting Jeff Hardy wrestle after he got whacked out on drugs live on pay-per-view. Um, see Abyss winning the world title by DQ that one time. Just a whole lot of shit. I could go on. Oh, what a painful kick. I gotta go later, people. Good luck, Daniel. Alright, cool. Uh, see you, Dapateo. Thanks for coming out. And he finally gets out of the ring. That's a move that'll knock you out cold. They return in time for DLC, uh, TLC and Challenge Dudley's for the titles? That'd be hype. Oh, fuck. Don't forget Aces and Nates in the greatest stable of all time. And he hits the, neck the only thing I really remember from Aces and Nates is that they turned Taz heel during the, uh, brother, during the fucking Bully Ray, Brooke Hogan wedding. Where they had Taz take off his jacket and go, Is it hot in here or is it just me? And then like half of the arena who actually saw the Aces and Nates fest were like, Oh, but we didn't see it till he turned around. That was an impressive suplex. He drops the elbow. Oh, wait, nice reversal. He's got him up. Shit. Big time scoop slam. Uh, Edge and Christian are not going to return. Edge cannot take a bump or he's probably going to be paralyzed. And Christian has had too many concussions. So they're both retired. That is not going to happen, unfortunately. Dan, who's your favorite group growing up? Uh, actually, I didn't watch wrestling on a regular basis until like 2004 or so. Uh, but based on what I've been able to go back and watch, it was probably the NWO before they expanded to like 100 people. Shit. No. No. Help me, Biggie. Thank you.
Do you watch ROH or Lucha Underground? I have no way to really watch those, so no, but I would if I could. Lucha Underground looks fucking awesome. NXT Finn Balor, hello, welcome to the stream, how you doing? Fuck, almost won the titles, or almost retained them, excuse me. New Day of the Champions. I should know this, I'm playing as them, for fuck's sake. Big E, get in here, handle it, quickly. Well, Devon's down. Fuck! Counter my attempt at the big ending. Nope. Fuck you, Devon. Right, here we go. Big ending! The New Day is gonna retain! Welcome back, Silver King! One, two, New Day retains! Amazing! Ucha Underground is amazing, but ROH has been mad for a while. Their NJPW crossover shows were cool, though. Yeah, I heard those are pretty good. Hey, it's uh, Atomic Common. Welcome to the stream. Did you guys hear about Vince McMahon is playing something big for the Undertaker Lesnar match? I should hope so. What do you think of Dean Ambrose? Uh, I think he worked better as a heel, personally. I do like him, though, but I do think his uh, personality and his gimmick work better as a heel. Especially if you watch some of the stuff he was doing as John Moxley in the independent circuit. And also, I think he has the sloppiest rebound lariat in the history of wrestling. And still, WWE Tag Team Champions. New Day Rocks. 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 Well, I gotta get going. You're an amazing YouTuber. Keep up the great work. Catch you next time. Thank you, Travis Lake. Thanks for coming out. I really appreciate it. By the way, do you like MK9? Like Mortal Kombat 9? Yeah, I liked it. It was pretty good. How old are you? I'm going to be 25 next month. On November 14th, I will be 25 years old. Hey, it's been a while, so I thought I'd let you know that I fucking despise the Dudley Boys. Really? Why? What you got against the Dudleys? Supposedly, Lesnar and Taker's opponent at WrestleMania will be revealed? Oh, shit. Wait, they're finally gonna try and set up Sting Undertaker? <laughs> Stone Cold's announced for Hell in a Cell, but they'll probably just open the show and hype the crowd, yeah. They'll probably just do the same shit that Foley and uh, Stewart did at SummerSlam. Just an opening dark segment to hype up the people. I can't watch a fucking New Day match without them showing up. It hurts me. I just want to watch Xavier. Yeah. And his sweet trombone. I know, right? Xavier Woods and his trombone is the most over tag team in the history of wrestling. They are the true stars of the tag team division. All right, what do we got next? We got the world title match. We got uh, Taker and Lesnar. And then we got... Uh, the U.S. South. So I think it's time for the U.S. Open Challenge. Alright, I'm going to need everyone to look away from the screen so as to preserve the surprise as to who is going to be John Cena's opponent. Just pretend you don't know who I'm about to pick. I want the hype to be real on this reveal. Everyone better be looking away. I don't want anyone looking right now. Keep looking away. I, I want you guys to pretend that you're like legitimately shocked. And there's no real way to hide this, so. Okay, you can look now. 
Entrances have started. Yabba dabba doo! Cena has arrived! Lights out stupid, but maybe take your Lesnar beat the hell out of each other and ends up a draw and they finish off the feud with one. No. They have already said that this is. They've hammered us over the head with the fact that this is going to be the final match between those two, so. To do that and then set up for another match at fucking Survivor Series would just be completely asinine. And here we go. Los Angeles, California is the place to be. And the hardware says that John Cena is the man to beat. The John Cena US Open Challenge starts right now. So if you want some, come and get some. Did you see the remix of Cena Steam and Spooky Scary Skeletons? I have not. But I will definitely check that out when I'm done streaming. Alright, who's going to take up the challenge? Who's going to be this mystery opponent that you guys definitely didn't see me selecting in the menu? Oh shit! Can it be Prince Pretty? Who for some reason I still have as the NXT champion. It's fine though. It's totally fine. He really should be the NXT champion, so it's totally cool. Tyler Breeze. Gonna make this gorgeous up in this piece. Unfortunately, growing up a huge Stone Cold fan, I don't think he'll wrestle at uh, WrestleMania this year. Yeah, I... The, the only way that Stone Cold will wrestle at WrestleMania is if he uh, has a match with Lesnar. Also, I had to give him this generic phone entrance because it was the closest thing I would get to um, him holding the cell phone and taking selfies. Although I did see Up Up Down Down's gameplay of 2K16, I am super glad that Tyler Breeze is not only in there, but that he also has the selfie stick entrance. I'm so hyped for that, you don't even know. Giving Tyler Breeze a selfie stick, which is like the fuzzy selfie stick, was the best thing ever. Hey, what's going on? Uh, the John Cena US Title Open Challenge, that's what. We're simulating WWE 2K, uh, WWE Hell in a Cell 2015 in 2K15. So... So here we go. U.S. title on the line. And you can feel that electricity. Oh, immediate face buster. WWE Shit, miss elbow though. I have to wait till the 30th at uh, 2K16. Oh, okay, it's the European release. Yeah, that makes sense. Because they have to localize some stuff. I don't know. I think that's how that works. Shit. No. Great reversal. Oh, fuck off me, Cena. Oh, out of nowhere. Tie up. This is about skill and power. I can tell you who is going to accept the challenge. Who's going to be? Who do you think it's going to be? NXT Finn Balor. Oh shit! Jackknife cover. Cena reverses it. Breeze reverses it. Cena reverses it. Oh shit. I almost fucked that up. Nope. 
is no slouch when it comes to his ground game. What a shot! Wait, I miss it. Who are you playing as? I am playing as Tyler Breeze. I am playing as Prince Pretty. Oh, Irik with a dastardly heel move. <laughs> Cena with the delayed reaction and selling that flying elbow. Uh, okay. <laughs> do you watch PewDiePie? I do not. It's not my cup of tea. Alright guys, who you got? Who do you think is walking out the US champion? I know Abby's rooting for Cena. She is the biggest John Cena stand that I know. So. Wheel kick. Blammo. Oh, fuck. Bailey to belly, it's over. Stop stealing Bailey's finisher. God damn it. Come on, you guys. Oh, I rake. Supermodel kick. It's gotta be it. Michael Tarver will answer the U.S. Open Challenge? Oh, fuck. Can you imagine that if Michael Tarver came back to wrestling and fucking answered the U.S. Open Challenge? Nope. combination of strength and quickness has proven to be too much for most of his opponents. It's one of the reasons he's the franchise. Come on. The franchise like Shane Douglas? <laughs> oh shit. Tyler Breeze setting it up. Might be about to give John Cena a beauty shot. And there it is, right to the face. Into the cover, hooks the leg. Oh fuck. Cena kicks out. Damn it. Where the fuck are you going, John? Damn! Oh, Cena just no sells the die because he was already in the fucking table removing animation. You are awesome. Thank you. Appreciate that. Shit. No. Ow. Get up, Tyler. Come on. You have to make the U.S. title gorgeous. Ah, oh, Cena, you fuck. All right, here we go. Time for my big comeback. Right, here we go. X. Square. Super mile kick. Do you think CM Punk won his first fight in the UFC? Uh, it's hard to say. Super kick. Super mile kick, excuse me. Nope. A vision is the right way. Beauty shot! Such was the force of the beauty shot that John Cena fell forward and hit his face on the mat. Tyler Breeze is the U.S. champion. Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. <laughs> Yeah, there was the first beauty shot. I thought that was going to be it. But it wasn't. He kicked out of two in typical Cena fashion. He's getting more highlights in the near falls here. I really hope Tyler Breeze actually does answer the U.S. Open Challenge. In the, the actual pay-per-view. That would be fucking hype. 
Especially since he already fucking debuted on SmackDown, so technically he's on the main roster. It's viable. And the new United States Champion, Tyler Blades. He gets a big victory here tonight. Love it. Tyler Breeze is about to make the U.S. title very gorgeous. Alright, we got two more matches left to go. The world title and the main event. Let's do that first. Title match. As Seth Rollins defends against the Demon Kane. And remember, uh, if Demon Kane doesn't win the title, if he doesn't walk out as the champion, then Corporate Kane is out of a job. So, let's put the momentum on slow for this one. It's a world time match. We gotta, we gotta build up the tension here before we start busting out pedigrees. Here we go. The champ coming out to Bam Bam Bigelow's WCW theme. It was the closest thing I could find to his actual entrance theme. The following contest is scheduled Amazing how WWE already gave away the Rollins K match on free TV. Uh, well, not for the title, though. I think they had to do... Yeah, but I think I know what you're talking about, the Lumberjack match. Um, I think that was just the way of um, proving that Demon Kane could beat Seth Rollins. Not that, not that it would have been that hard, considering apparently Demon Kane could just instantly heal a broken ankle. We got pilmanized like five minutes before that. Like seriously, I'm, I'm starting to think that Demon Kane had like a paralyzed heel stuffed in his boot. I don't know, man. Oh shit. Did this just get real? I think it just got real. The demon! This is gonna be something, King. Kane looks like he wants to make a statement here tonight. Yeah, I'm just glad he's not coming down here for us, Cole. We've both been on the receiving end of a Kane beating, and I think I can speak for the both of us in saying it is not. Do you have a YouTube channel? I do. If you go below uh, the stream video, you'll see the links to both my YouTube channels. I have a main one where I do like vlogs and sketches and whatnot, and I have a gaming channel where this stream will actually be going up after it's done. Anyway, here comes Kane. Former WWE Champion, World Heavyweight Champion, ECW Champion. Former Tag Team Champion, Intercontinental Champion, I believe. I think the only... I, I don't know if he's been... Um, I think the only existing title he hasn't won is the US title. I really don't think Kane's ever been the US Champion at all. The World Heavyweight title on the line, represented by two belts, despite the fact that Seth Rollins only ever came out with one. Alright, here we go guys. Feel the hype. Kane, Seth Rollins, world title. Let's go. To the outside. <laughs> is this on PS4? Yes, it is. 
Nope. Ah, oh, shit. The fuck was any of that? Sweep the leg. An aggressive shot to the midsection. Might be Seth Rollins' only chance here is to sweep the leg. There's something I know about Kane from broadcasting so many of his matches. It's that it takes a lot of extra work to inflict punishment on Shit. Kane. I mean, he's an absolute monster who just refuses to die. Kind of appropriate for a guy from the depths of the underworld, I suppose. Watch out here. Nope. A textbook reversal. Can he follow up? I think I saw him too fly out. Sweep the leg. That one rocked him. Pain in trouble here. Shit. He belly to belly. Off. Everyone is stealing Bailey's finish. What the shit? Everyone saw the Bailey versus Sasha Banks matches and they just saw how hyped the people got after a belly to belly suplex and they're like, hey, you know what? I'm adding that to my moveset. Shit, crucifix. The big red monster gets out of the way of that one. You know, he can really move that big frame quickly. Oh, what a slap by Kane, just disrespecting the champ. He was able to reverse that. Shit. Standing SSP. Oh, mama. Ooh, that did it. No. Renee Dupree will run in. <laughs> yeah, I wish. Actually, I don't wish that. He saw that one coming. Seth Rollins knows how to punch off an opponent. Just look at this. You can see the results from that move. Like, it's not Renee Dupree, but like, um, there's one member of La Resistance that had like that, that uh, after he stopped doing the French sympathizer gimmick, he just, um, just had a really bland narcissist gimmick and he had that really terrible Randy Newman theme. I'm trying to think of who it was. Uh, it was the theme that sounded like, just look at me. Ain't I a sad to see? Like, it sounded like a fucking Randy Newman song. I can't remember for the life of me what the fucking guy's name was. Rollins has in this business what we call all the tools. Rollins is lightning fast. He can get on that mat and wrestle. He can brawl. He can soar through the air. Oh, did I say? Seth Rollins is fearless. No breathing room for Kane. Oh, shit. Rollins about to put the demon away. That's it. I'm getting out of here. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Pedigree through the table. One more time for everyone at home. And he oh. this doesn't end in the count out. Rob Conway, that was it. Thank you. Thank you, Tipsy Vagrants. For some reason I couldn't think of it. Ooh, a little showboating going on. Seth Rollins, the one man mosh pit. Nope, that's not how this is gonna end. Bill Rollins and all of his ability represents the future of WWE. All of oh, I think the back of his head at the monitor. God damn. The beginning. If you don't believe it, just ask him. Pepsi twist. I think that's what that was. He needs to dig way down deep if he wants to keep going now. Yeah, I can throw a chair in him, but it's not a DQ for some reason. Alright, see if we can get back Sniffler.
Fuck. Yeah, I know, right? Sean O'Hare has a lot of wasted potential. I think eventually they were going to have him feud with uh, uh, Sean, uh, Shawn Michaels. It would work so well with Shawn Michaels' like Borgang Christian shtick. I think they got cold feet and they decided against it. That would have been so good. Oh, here we go. Flow over, D uh, flow over neck breaker, the greatest move in wrestling. I almost called out that flow over DDT. It's a different move. Hey, Joseph Ott. Welcome to the stream. How you doing? Shit, I had, to, I had to fucking stop at some ground ghosts. I don't know why I was missing there. Fuck's sake. Oh, fuck, DDT. Call me Joseph, please. All right, cool. Oh no! Wait a minute, Cole. What's he gonna do here? They get K in the corner. I need to set up for the sig. All right, here we go. Shit! No, there we don't go. There we don't go at all. All right, here we go. Got it. Kane's going for a ride. Buckle bomb! Oh shit. Seth Rollins looking to really finish off Kane here. Oh no. Oh no. Curb stomp! I thought that move was banned! Into the cover. Hooks the leg. Seth Rollins retains after a devastating curb stomp. Oh shit. That was an intense match, but Seth Rollins coming out ahead in decisive fashion. Could have just gotten the count out retention after putting Kane to the table, but he chose not to. Wanted to put all the doubts to rest. Just like he put the demon to rest. Of course, what this means now is that Corporate Kane is out of a job. And there's the cover after the devastating curb stomp. Here is your winner, and still WWE World Heavyweight Champion, Seth Rollins. Now let's be honest, this one wasn't even close. Oh yeah, that was about as far from an even match as you can get. Yeah, no, right? The curb stomp was fucking great. And I'm not even saying this because I, I miss the curb stomp, but Seth Rollins' pedigree uh, is not terribly great. I don't know why, just it's just not great. I mean, it's not terrible, but it could look it could look better. It looks really good on smaller opponents like uh, Neville. Neville's still fucking great, but um, trying to do the pedigree to bigger opponents is not working for Seth Rollins. And unfortunately, all he's facing lately is bigger opponents. Anywho, one more match to go, and it is the main event. We're going to see Brock Lesnar take on The Undertaker. It's time. It's fucking time. Feel that main event hype.
Wait, here we go. The Beast on his way to the ring. The following contest is do 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 do. do. Brock, Brock, but Brock Lesnar, but Brock, Brock, but Brock Lesnar, Brock, Brock, but Brock Lesnar, Brock, but Brock Lesnar, 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 Brock Lesnar. Brock Lesnar, Brock Lesnar, Brock Lesnar, Brock, 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 Lesnar, Brock, 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 Brock. Fuck! I was running out of breath during that last part. I got a debate tournament tomorrow. Wish me luck, guys. Good luck, Joseph. Hope you do good. I've missed Daniel singing this theme. Glad to hear it again. Glad I could please you. Yeah, it has been a while since I did that. And approaching the ring from Death Valley, weighing 299 pounds. They should have Kane come out like he did years ago. Um, what would I? What would I even set up though? What, what would that set up? Fucking Lesnar Kane? Not sure quite as many people would be enthralled with that feud. I, mean, I guess it would make sense if Taker and uh, Kane are kind of on the same page. I don't know. NXT Finn Balor clearly on the side of The Undertaker. Right, who's everybody got? This is the main event. Who's everyone got? Who you, who you got winning? Holy shit, my email is blown up with new followers. Okay. New followers. Awesome Froki, Issues365, Zombieland1908, Brandon underscore game, Tixi, uh, Tipsy underscore vagrant, Sportsfan283511, Kane5679, uh, Travis Lake24, Stupid TH Hipster, LOL Swag526, uh, YT the Future, Real Stevie G, and Super S Vin. All these new followers on Twitch. Thank you so much, guys. I really appreciate it. Thanks for your continued support of everything that I'm doing here. Uh, if you want to follow me on any of my social media stuff, all that is below the stream video. I would also really appreciate if you check all that stuff out. That'd be, uh, that'd be cool. And everyone is saying take her. Well, I guess I gotta play the part of spoiler. Shit. Don't know if you heard that. Uh, don't know if you heard that just now. That was my phone going off. Don't know what that was. I will check that in a bit. Suplex City. You know the next part. By the way, that's one. I will be keeping tabs on how many suplexes Brock Lesnar hits in this match. Oh shit! Belly to belly. Also, that's two. And there's legit been a Bailey to Bailey in almost every single match tonight. Everyone wants to be Bailey. They know how over she is. That's three. Oh, his spine bending and cracking from that backbreaker. Oh shit. Bailey to belly again. Four suplexes. Fuck. Take it with just a stiff ass elbow to the face. Oh, his spine bending and cracking from that backbreaker. Damn. Oh, Taker's looking to take me a suplex city. What the fuck? Man, Bailey needs a copyright who moves it? I know, right? She could sue everyone who fucking did a Bailey to Bailey night for gimmick infringement. Seriously. Just about every match tonight has had some variation of a belly to belly suplex. And like. It's ridiculous. And he gets back in. 
Oh, the punch connects. And that shot was dialed in. I just followed that was what your phone just made a sound out of, I think. Yeah, I got notifications for that. Uh, thanks for following NXT Finn Balor. Really appreciate that. He's got him up. Oh. Ow. Belly to belly, god damn it! Stop stealing Bailey's finish! What the fuck, you guys? I mean, I know everyone's talking about the NXT Women's Division, but come on! Oh shit, Taker's going for his comeback. I'm getting the fuck out of the ring. Oh, into the cell wall. Followed by a big old spine buster. Nice reversal there. Brock Lesnar going for the slap. I don't know why. I rake. I rake. Once again, launched straight into the steel. I wonder if this will be better for, uh, better than the other Hell in a Cell match from No Mercy. Um, I'm assuming it will be because these guys are obviously both much more experienced now. Oh shit. Multiple power bombs! Hey, come on, Taker. Let's get over here. We gotta break through the wall. We gotta break down the walls of Jericho. Hey, you take your time getting back up. I'm going to be over here taunting. Shit. Ow. Dick. Oh shit, here we go. Power bomb through the wall. And here we see it from this angle. More power bombs. Power bomb city. He needs to dig way down deep if he wants to keep going now. Hype for 2K16? Yes. Yes, I fucking am. Looks like it's actually going to be good. Well, he was able to reverse it. Get out of that. And it looks like we could be heading back into the ring. Hey, Kai Energy 13. Welcome to the stream. How you doing? They are actually outside Hell in a Cell and climbing the walls of it. Hey, come on, Taker. Let's do some high spots, brother. Doing good? That's good. Oh, fuck. Fall away slam. Cell's not quite broken yet, but it's getting there. Belly to belly! Damn it. Also, I believe that's five suplexes now. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that's five. Shit. Nope. Lesnar had that scouted. Oh, look at the emotion. Did you pre-order? Yeah, I did, but uh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna have the money to actually put aside for it. I did when I pre-ordered it, but unfortunately, I don't think I'm gonna have it to get it on release. Wow, so. Oh, fuck. Oh, oh, For first STO and it broke the fucking roof and busted me open. Shit. Get up, Brock. Get up, Brock. Okay, thank you. Shit.
No, not again. Double Axe Handle City. And he does it one more time. Here we go. Damn. No. Shit. Nice escape by Lesnar. And it's moves like that that made Lesnar the one in 21 and 1. Oh, ow! Stop punching me, you fuck. You fucking Chuck Liddell Mohawk. Brock Lesnar with a nice He is his takers last year, yeah. Like Taker really does not need to be wrestling for even this long. I, I would I would just genuinely like to see Undertaker retire being able to walk. You know? And I don't think he has anything really left to prove to anybody. Honestly. What's uh, what's the difficulty? I think it's on either hard or legend. I don't remember. Been a while since I looked at it. Here we go. Six! Seven. Eight. Eight suplexes. Come on, Taker. We gotta do more high spots. Oh no way! He can't seriously be heading up again. Yeah, I'm seriously heading up again. I gotta get all my shit in. Right, here we go. King, I'm not comfortable at all. Watch Shit. This. I haven't been comfortable since they broke out of the cell. Fall away slam. Guys, get down from there. Damn. Undertaker. Way too experienced to get caught by that. Undertaker's not playing around. Oh! Undertaker's defenseless. This was boxing. The referee would have stepped in along. How is the Undertaker defenseless? He's he's the one doing offensive moves right now. What the shit, Jerry Lawler? Nope. Brock Lesnar with a nice reversal. Dragon sleeper, even though I can't make him submit up here. Oh, the longer he stays in this, the closer he is to losing the match. I'm just being a dick now, honestly. Damn. Oh, he broke out. Fuck. No! Fuck. Alright, well, he can't pin me up here, so that's good. Shit. Taylor, I don't know what the fuck you're doing. We're still we're still working up here, man. Oh no! I can't believe this. They're about to do So you jump off the cell just to come right back up. I, I don't understand. Just think about this, Michael. There's nothing between these guys and the floor, but you're Taker, stop working the army. Don't even have any arm submissions. Don't you know anything about ring psychology? God. <laughs> Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh god. Set up for a power bomb. Off the cell. Jesus. Take a look at this red box big moment. Take a look at that again. Oh, Taker is just dead. Did you hear the thud when he hit the table? The back is broken, I guarantee you. The back is fucking broken. Oh, fuck me. Oh, Undertaker set up. Shit. There's only one thing I could do now to finish him off. 
This is so dangerous, King. The horrors on top of the Hell in a Cell can dwarf what happens inside this demonic structure. You're darn right, it's scary. Think about what's up there. Steel mesh and a 25-foot drop. Oh, shit. Lesnar, send it up. F5! Through the cell roof. F5 all the way to the fucking ground. One more time. Taker really is dead now. But what the fuck? <laughs> and Lesnar just warps back up to the fucking roof. Uh, okay. Let's go for the pin, I guess. <laughs> Taker kicks out! What is happening? What is happening right now? God damn it. Power Pop City. <laughs> uh, okay. Sure. Why not? <laughs> what the fuck, dude? Brock Lesnar, the glitch incarnate. Nine suplexes. The offense of Brock Lesnar is working well right now. Blam. Right to the head. Shit. Nope. Belly to belly. Ten. Ten suplexes throughout this matchup. Lesnar just being the shell of fucking Undertaker now. It's like, how dare you no sell an F5 on the roof of the fucking ring? Unprofessional fuck. Beautiful counter for Brock Lesnar there. And it's the Undertaker able to break free. Nope. Here we go. Eleven. 12 13 fucking suplexes in this match Oh his body has to be broken right now Oh shit that's just going for the plunder and all of them hurt Oh shit you see that Oh man nope get much closer than that If I get to if I get to use the chair you sure as fuck don't get to use the chair at least they're setting up that spot for me, Taker. By the way, eat some stairs. What the fuck? So Taker falls into me, and that causes me to fall backwards and drop the stairs like I was getting hit with a headbutt. Great. Superb physics again. Fuck's sake. Just trying to goad his opponent into making a mistake here. Come on, Taker. Get back in here, brother. Come on. And this is gonna return Shake it off like Taylor Swift. All right, here we go. Shit. Oh, I fucked that up. You fucked up. You fucked up. You fucked up. Okay. Face first into the fucking chair. Oh, man. Right, let's see if this will work. I don't know if it will. Oh shit, he reversed it! Damn! No! No! Fuck! <laughs> I'm gonna take her one with a fucking DDT? Must have dropped me right on my fucking head and concuss me. That's the only explanation. Oh well, what is a win, I guess? Especially if you could fucking survive a drop in the top of the cell. Look at that. Concussion. This is ridiculous. Here is your winner. The Undertaker. What an incredible man. Virtual Undertaker lacks psychology, I know, right? Fucking kept, like, doing that one reversal where you hit the arm onto the fucking ground. Like, he's trying to set up for an arm submission that he doesn't have. And then he counters the F5 into a DDT, and that's the finish. Got sent there to take her back down to NXT. He clearly doesn't know how to work. <laughs>